Hi, welcome to another training session. My name's Simon. What we're going to do is look at Power BI and install it. Uh, we're going to look at the desktop version and we'll also have a look at the online version. But this particular video is just a test just to see how we can get on with it. So to find the desktop version, we're going to go to uh, Chrome. So I'm just going to click on Chrome at the bottom. That's great. Just going to get my magnifier up. we go so in the Google Chrome window we're going to type in power BI desktop download press enter there we go we've got different uh, download options here but I'm using this power BI desktop so I'm gonna give that a click that's fantastic so we can download this for free just maximize so we can download this for free so I'm gonna click on the download for free button um, now just I'm gonna just cancel that a second I've got the advanced download options here and so if I scroll down I can see here different options on the download and I would click on the download button just here and I have two options one of which is let me just zoom in a second you see is PBI desktop MSI, so the Microsoft installer file, and the X64. So which of these should you download? But it all depends really on the version of Office that you're using. A lot can. What I found personally is if I want to import some information from Access and I have the wrong version, I will get an error when I try to install it. So what I'll do is um, I'm going to install the 64-bit version because I know I have the 64-bit version of Office and it will just make sure everything runs a bit more, more smoothly. So I'm going to select the 64-bit version and then I'm just going to click on the download button just move myself down here like that. that's it no, let's just move myself up here and next rather great so now I'm just going to uh, choose a location so I'm just going to choose my OneDrive folder uh, and I'm going to make a new folder on there and I'm just going to call this one power bi I'll go into that folder press on save and let it download so it'll be downloading at the bottom there and eventually uh, when it downloaded I can go to install it so earlier I mentioned that you need to make sure that you have the correct version of office so how do you know well as it's access that's mainly the issue here I'm just gonna load up access and just show you what you can do to for that I'm just gonna find an old any old database it's not a problem it's here let me just grab that across there we go so here we are in access so I'm going to click on file at the top let me just zoom in so you can see I'm going to go down to and click on accounts here and then over on the right hand side if I scroll down a little bit here I've got an about access button so I'm going to click on about access so now if you look at the top here you can see if I just zoom out so if you look here you can see what version whether it's the 32 or the 64 bit it's access in particular that personally I found that there's issues with so depending on the version of office that you have that's the version you should download especially when you're wanting to import information from access let's just close that one here excellent so once that's done I'm just going to click on the drop down uh, the button here to install the power bi and the installer comes up I'm just going to show you this one here there we go let me just close windows I don't need that one anymore so it's ready to go and install here so I'm just going to click on next accept the terms and conditions and click on next it's going to put it into my 64-bit program files folder and yes I'm going to create a desktop shortcut and then this will install now that we can see that it's installed brilliant so I'm just going to click on the finish button and it should launch Power BI desktop there we go so you can see it's initializing the model uh, here and then when we launch it we can look and about getting data into Power BI desktop 
So here we have our Power BI desktop. Just going to drag this one across here. There we go. So we'll have a welcome screen that comes up here where I can start putting the names in, etc. Uh, if I want to register it. So that's so far just for the installation. So please stay tuned and keep a watch out for more videos, especially about getting data and in particular from Excel and now from access into Power BI Desktop. Thank you so much for watching.